Does more testosterone mean more hair loss? I'm Dr. Cena, a dermatologist based in the UK, and today I'm going to dive in with you into the topic of testosterone and its effects on hair loss. We'll start off by reviewing the science of how hair grows and then review how testosterone could impact this. Then reviewing some strategies and treatments which could help someone who's suffering from hair thinning or loss. So hair growth starts within the tiny follicles of the skin in a cyclical manner being divided into three main phases. Anagen, an active growth growth phase lasting typically between three to five years, catagen, a transitional phase lasting two to three weeks, then followed by telogen, a resting phase where the hair follicle is dormant and growth of the shaft does not occur, and this generally lasts around three to six months. It's important to stress that hair loss can have different causes or combinations of causes, and when we look at testosterone's impact on hair loss, we're really looking at a specific cause called androgenic alopecia, which can present as both male and female patterns of hair loss. So what is testosterone? Well, put simply, it's a hormone, a chemical messenger produced in the male testes and to a lesser extent in the female ovaries, responsible for multiple roles including maintaining bone density and muscle mass, to regulating our mood and cognitive function, to regulating secondary sexual characteristics such as body hair and voice. But why is this important for hair loss? Well, the problem comes when testosterone is converted to a similar hormone called DHT or dihydrotestosterone. And this happens in a number of different tissues of the body, including the skin of the scalp, by the enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. The DHT binds to receptors in the hair follicles resulting in numerous effects, including shortening the anagen phase, bumping more follicles into their resting or telogen phase, and causing miniaturization of the hair follicles producing shorter, thinner hairs. Unfortunately, it's not simply a case of higher testosterone levels leading to greater hair loss, but rather the proportion to which one's body converts its DHT and how sensitive our hair follicles are to DHT. So for example, even a person with low testosterone could experience male pattern hair loss. And vice versa, someone with high testosterone may not necessarily do. To some extent, unfortunately, androgenic alopecia is out of our hands, as several genes increasing susceptibility to it are involved. And also the distribution and density of the hormone receptor which DHT binds to in the scalp can vary amongst individuals. So what can we do about this form of hair loss? Well, minoxidil solution has stood the test of time as a possible topical treatment for this. It stimulates dilation of the small blood vessels in the scalp and is thought to increase cell proliferation within the follicle in order to stimulate it. Although please note that this doesn't directly impact with DHT. Other offerings such as DS Labs, Revita, high performance shampoo and conditioner can also work concomitantly to preserve hair density and stimulate follicles. However, Please remember if you're experiencing sudden or severe hair loss, always speak to a licensed specialist or physician as there can be multitudinal other causes of hair loss. So there you have it. I hope I've helped you to understand more around the role of testosterone in hair loss. But please remember that in many cases, it's not the sole contributing factor. And hair loss does always need to be considered from a holistic perspective. If you have any questions or concerns following this video, please share them with DS Labs and remember to give them a like and subscribe on their channel. Feel free to also check out my channel on YouTube, Dr. Cena Skin, for more skincare content.